guys and welcome back to a LEGO Star Wars Rogue One set review. This is my final major set review for Rogue One and this is 75154 TIE Striker 543 pieces ages 8 to 14 comes with Imperial Shore Trooper, Imperial Ground Crew, TIE Pilot and Rebel Trooper. There you can see the front of the box. Disney down there and the trooper at the top there then we see the back of the box with the features of the set so now let's take a look at the major part of the set itself the top striker here's the set itself and as you can see it resembles somewhat of a tie fighter but without the lower two wings and uh, this is my second um, version of something that has the name tie in it and uh, I think it's pretty cool overall and uh, so it does resemble, resemble something that was in the age of Darth Vader and uh, so the way he had his group of people build stuff and I think this is a little loose there but um, uh, but yeah, it definitely resembles something of that era in the galaxy. So, uh, taking a look at the features, you have two levers back here that will um, you have to raise up to get the wings to work properly. So you just raise those up here, and uh, once you lock them in a certain position, it will be in flight mode. You have to put them all the way up in that vertical position as shown like this angle. And uh oops. Did not mean to shoot that missile. Um but uh and I'm sorry for the noise it's echoing. Um you can see nice stickers and printed detailings up there printed piece and all the rest of the things you see besides the printed piece is a sticker and just overall nice detailing and I'm sorry I shot that missile I didn't mean to um and uh so um it's pretty cool so you got uh, missiles right there and you can see I just shot the camera and I didn't even mean to and uh so you can see that there is room to put a pilot in there and you can just move this down to put, be able to put him in there and or you could raise the top up also and put him in there as well which is a very cool feature and there's a lot of these ingot pieces in there and in the back you also have a little play feature where you lift up the back here and get it to open and uh, you have a little walkie talkie and a gun there. Another ingot piece, which is pretty cool. You probably put somebody back there, but you won't be able to stand them. But, um, so, yeah, that's basically it. And how you get these down, once again, is you just pull this right down here. And uh, that just works like that. And then, then there. And you have it back in the landing mode. And, uh, yeah, overall, this is a better set than I thought. And uh, so now let's take a look at the minifigs. And here they are from left to right. We have the Imperial Ground Crew. Then we have the Rebel Trooper, Imperial Pilot, and the Imperial Shore Trooper. So we'll take a look at the Ground Crew first. And uh, it is said that Jyn Erso is disguised as... Uh, a ground crew type figure member in Rogue One spoiler if you haven't seen if you didn't know that and uh, if you did you probably now know it again and uh, you can see torso detailing leg detailing facial detailing he got these two uh, light things which I would use for bombs if I was going to use them at all and then uh, back torso detailing, you know, back head detailing. 
and that is uh, the Imperial Ground Crew. Taking a look at the Rebel Trooper, you can see that Chris Evans, aka Steve Rogers, has uh, quit being Captain America and came to the um, Republic because that's his face. Yep, that's Steve Rogers' face. Nice going, Lego. Nice rehash there. And uh, um, you can see his torso detailing, leg detailing, facial detailing on the back and back torso detailing. So yeah, Chris Evans is now a rebel trooper. Nice choice, Chris Evans, for retirement. And uh, um, then you got the Imperial pilot. He did torso detailing, leg detailing, facial detailing. I think this is one of the first ones I've gotten in a long time. And back torso detailing. And then you've got a generic face, which I'm pretty sure that's a Force Awakens face from one of the Resistance battle packs, but I'm not for sure. And then nice helmet detailing. Next up is the uh, Shore Trooper. Now, some people are really highly disappointed with this guy, and uh, I think there should have been at least one more guy, um, like or him in one more of these in this set but uh, yeah um, sure, sure still nice to get nice course of detailing leg detailing same mask as the uh, hover tank pilot and generic face and then uh, back course of detailing and uh, yeah that's about it for the uh, figures the rating for the set. This is actually one of the cheaper ones for on this wave of Rogue One. It is actually $70 for uh, Krennic Shuttle is the highest of all of them. And uh, so uh, yeah, this is the second highest. And uh, so there is one instruction book here and uh, you get five number bags. But And uh, so here is a good look um, at the uh, piece count and I have reviewed all the major sets so it's all the sets that are not the billable action figures and I most likely will not buy them unless I get them for Christmas and I have reviewed all the ones you see so all five of them and now I have all the figures and yes, I will be making a Rogue One series soon. And then, yeah, I got the last part of the set there. And how to put everybody in their proper positions. And, uh, so yeah, then went with the robot. So now onto the ratings for the set. I honestly think this set is pretty cool. It's better than I, um, originally thought it would be. And, uh, I do have another TIE Fighter, but I'm pretty sure that it's not in good shape. But uh, as for all the Rogue One sets, overall, very cool. And uh, so, this would have to be possibly my third favorite one. But um, Critic Kittles may be my first one favorite, or the Imperial Hover Tank set. And uh, so, um, I haven't really rated these in uh, a specific order, so uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna give this set a uh, nine because I feel like it should be, it should have one more uh, Imperial Short Trooper, and uh, yeah, and the rehashing of Chris Evans. Steve Rogers' face. I feel like that is just a just a rehash of a face for no reason. It's a good face, but really, um, they just used it for rehashing the thing. So, yeah, I get a 9.5. So, uh, um, yeah, um, that's about it for this set. Please kind of like, subscribe, go check out all my other Rogue One sets, and I'll have them in a playlist. 
And uh, yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.